July 2017. The city of Omaha has targeted several signals for removal. This is a report on one of the signals, located at the intersection of 84th Street and Spring Street. Like all the targeted signals, its pedestrian controls are covered with black plastic, and a sign is attached. Signal is scheduled to be removed. If you have questions, call City of Omaha. The signal itself is permanently set to flashing orange, presumably as a transition leading up to the removal. This particular signal does not favor pedestrians. It is missing a stop line, crosswalk painting, and cutouts to join to the sidewalk on either side of 84th Street. The combination of traffic signals and crosswalk markings has positive benefits to the behavior of drivers and pedestrians, but this one gives no clear directions to drivers or pedestrians. What if this signal is removed? Here is 84th Street, between West Center Road and Frederick Street. The signal targeted for removal is shown in red. The two nearest signals with pedestrian crossings are in green at West Center and Haskell Street. It is 400 feet from the signal targeted for removal to the Haskell Street signal. The Haskell Street signal is operational and includes a painted crosswalk and cutouts to connect to the sidewalks but is missing a stop line. So if the signal is removed, pedestrians could walk 400 feet south and cross at an adequate signal? Not quite. There is no sidewalk for the last 100 feet. Let's take a look. Here's where the sidewalk ends. Pedestrians must walk in the turning lanes, or on the grass island, or across the parking area. Imagine doing that in the winter snow and ice, when, more often than not, cars are blocking the way because of the turning lane design. So without a sidewalk, there is no safe access to the Haskell Street signal on the west side of 84th Street. And if the signal is removed, there will be a 1,400 feet stretch without any safe crossing there are bus stops in that stretch, so it is obvious that the crossings are required for transit riders who must cross the street at least once. One has to wonder about Omaha's land use priorities when automobile drivers have five-lane streets to access over 18 acres of wide open surface parking, while pedestrians and transit riders deal with incomplete sidewalks and diminishing safe crossing locations. To the south, the Papio Trail goes under 84th Street. The gape on the ramp is too narrow for bicycle trailers, yet another obstacle. So even with the adequate crosswalk at the trailhead, it is rare for trail traffic to venture into the shopping and dining areas beyond. With so much going against this stretch of 84th Street, drab expanses of parking, generic malls with high vacancy, designs that discourage any sense of community. It would be easy to say that the removal of the signal at 84th Street and Spring Street can't make the area any worse. But any step that reduces transit and pedestrian access is a blow to a neighborhood.